As educators, meeting the diverse needs of your classroom can feel overwhelming. Every student has unique strengths and learning styles, and tailoring your materials to everybody takes time and effort. But this is where AI can help, especially tools like EdCafe AI. EdCafe makes it easy to create differentiated content for all learning types and student levels, like lesson plans, quizzes, and activities, using topics, texts, web pages, and documents that you already have. This is a game changer for adding in differentiated activities without the extra stress. Let's dive in and see how it works. First, what is EdCafe AI? EdCafe is a free tool designed to assist educators in creating educational content with the help of artificial intelligence. Once your content is generated, EdCafe stores your resources in a centralized, organized space. You can share these resources with colleagues, review and edit your content, and seamlessly share your materials with students for them to engage with. Depending on the tool you use within EdCafe, you can add specific instructions to tailor your content for different learning levels, styles, and types. Let's walk through creating some content for a lesson together. Before creating a lesson plan, EdCafe's Teaching Resources feature is a great starting point. This feature helps you find high quality resources suitable for different levels of students. Simply enter your topic or subject area that you're looking for resources for and add in your grade level. This can be adjusted to suit your students' needs. Then EdCafe will curate a list of relevant resources for you. You can use these resources for brainstorming or as a jumping off point to build more differentiated resources later in your lesson planning process. For now, let's explore some of these resources and we're actually gonna take a look at one of these articles. This article looks like it has a lot of good relevant information, so let's use this to make a lesson plan. We're gonna copy this website, then go ahead and in our create new, we'll go to lesson plan and you can see that you can create a lesson plan based off of any topic, text, web page, or a document. You'll find that this is the case for most of EdCafe AI's features. The document one is really great to use for any of your documents that you already have to generate a lesson plan or any other material on top of. For now, we have a web page, so I'm going to paste in that link that we had. Then the additional instructions is where the magic happens. Here, you can specify the grade level, learning objectives, preferred activities, and any differentiation strategies that you would like to add into this lesson planning process. For now, for this example, I have some different activities for different learning styles along with our student levels and to include a set of vocab words. From here, you can also set any other additional standards and update your output language if preferred. Then you can go ahead and generate and EdCafe will generate that lesson plan for you and it's yours to review and to edit. You'll be able to see that we have the section on our differentiated activities and our vocab words that we asked for at the beginning. You'll see that this whole lesson plan is editable, so that way you can go ahead and add more things if you would like. And once that's done, we can save our lesson plan to our files. So you can give it a name. Then you can also include to add it in one of your folders. So you can create different folders. That way you keep everything organized as you go through creating your content. Once it's saved, you can then export this to go ahead and share with your admin or save it into your other files. For now, let's continue creating content just for this lesson. We're actually going to use these vocab words and create some vocab words that we can share with our students. Vocab cards are a great way to introduce students to new words and how to reinforce them throughout the lesson. So we can create some vocab cards based on these vocab words from our lesson plan. So go ahead first and copy those vocab words. Then in our create new, we'll go to our vocabulary cards feature. And here you can choose to either paste in your list of words or you can generate words based on a topic. Since we already have ours, we'll just go ahead, paste them in here. Of course, go ahead, change the output language or add a translation if needed. The translation is great for language learners. Then we can go ahead and generate those vocabulary cards. Here, as it is generating them, we can go ahead and take a look. So it'll have our word here, a definition of that vocabulary word, some examples, and some synonyms for that word. You'll see that it also generates some images to go along with those words. So once we actually save our vocabulary cards, 
we're going to save it into that same file um, and that same folder that we already created so everything stays organized. So now that it's saved, we can actually share it with our students. So you can export these as well if needed, if you want them in a different format. But if you want your students to quickly and easily review them, you can launch it to them. So they can either scan this QR code or you can copy this link and share it with them that way. So let me show you guys what that looks like on the student side. So they can just paste that in on any browser. It'll give them a quick intro about the vocab cards to let them know who the teacher is that's sharing them. And then they can go ahead and study those cards. So no need for them to log in or anything like that, which is really nice. So then they can just go ahead and start reviewing and studying these vocab cards. Now we can use these same vocab words to help introduce students to the lesson by creating a vocabulary-based reading paragraph. This paragraph provides context to all of these words that are now just a list. So let's go ahead and back in at Cafe. We can create a vocabulary-based reading. From here, we can paste in those vocab words again and add in any additional instructions. So for the additional instructions here, I always like to put maybe just a little bit of background on what you want the direction for those paragraphs to go. And then to add in that differentiation piece, I always ask it to include different passages for different levels and paces. That way you guys can share these paragraphs to your students based on their level. So they're not getting overwhelmed if they have to read something that's too difficult or fly by and breeze by it if it's too easy. So once that's done, we can go ahead and generate to here. And as it's generating, you'll be able to see the different paragraphs that it presents. So we have here an intermediate level and an advanced level for these paragraphs. Then to add even some more differentiation, maybe you don't want your students to read these, but you want to test their listening skills, we can actually add an audio to this. So you can add an audio to this one passage, um, but instead I would suggest saving this. Then we can actually use Edcafe's AI speech tool to do it one at a time. That way we are only sharing with the students the audio that they need instead of both. So we can just go ahead and copy this and in our create new, we can go do AI speech. And here you can just paste in that speech and select um, your audio language and your voice. So you can test out those different voices, see which one that you prefer. Then you can generate the audio and be able to listen to it, repeat that passage back to you. The Amazon rainforest is one of the most... So you can repeat that for each one of those paragraphs that were generated, then download it, save it, share it with your students in class or as homework. That way they're working on their strengths and weaknesses, not something that's a little bit too difficult or too easy for them. And now we need to generate some content so that we can assess our students, right? We haven't made any of that content yet. So let's turn this vocabulary-based reading into a quiz. That way we can test our students' comprehension. So from here, let's just go ahead. You can copy any of those paragraphs that you um, generated. We'll just do this one here. And in our Create New, we'll click on a reading comprehension. Do notice that we have a regular quiz. That way you can create a quiz based on, of course, any topic, text, web page, or that document. We also have a YouTube quiz. So you can also use this to get students to watch a video and take a quiz at the same time. So that way you can help more with some visual learning and some audio learning as well. So anyways, back to our reading comprehension quiz. From here, we can paste in our passage and then change up the question type. That way you can work on a couple of different things and keep your quizzes engaging. Then in our student level, we're gonna adjust this as needed. So maybe for this one, we'll stick with our high school here. We'll just do first year. And of course, any of your standards and your output language as usual. And we can generate this reading comprehension quiz. So we'll come up with some different questions for you. Feel free to review. It is of course all editable. So then that way we can make it um, a little bit more difficult or adjust them to be less difficult if needed. So you can change up the question, any of the options and the distractors here. And then you can also add in an explanation for each one of these questions. So once the students take the quiz, they'll be able to review their results and see these explanations at the end. So you can adjust those as needed. And then just like all of the other tools as well, you can add a question. So you can do this with the AI generation or you can do it yourself if you want to add anything that might've been missed. So we can have AI generate a short answer here. For those short answers, it will give just a suggested answer instead of having a full grade there that we can go back and review the student's results. So once that generation is done, let's go ahead and save our quiz. 
save it to that same folder, even though we've changed up our grade level here, sticking to that same topic. And then once we save it, we can then share it with our students. You can also export this if you want them to take it on written paper. So you can have this um, exported as needed, or of course, exporting it to PowerPoint, adding those class point questions, using it during a quiz or during a lesson is also great. Um, so from here, instead, let's just see the digital option um, to share it with students. So we can assign it to some students, which just means that you, they can scan that QR code or they can copy the link as well. You can copy the link and share it with them by pasting it in. So once I share this, students then again no need to log in they just need to type a name so if I just type a name in here they can go ahead and take the quiz so they have the reading passage on the side that they can review and then the questions that go along with that so let's just go ahead and click through some of these options And once the students have submitted their results, like I said, they will be able to see a quick review of the responses. So because this one has a mix of short answer and multiple choice, they won't get a full correct percentage rate just because there's more to review, but they can go through and see all of the different options and those explanations. And back on the teacher side, for you guys, you'll be able to see the responses and review your students' results. That way you can check in, see how they're doing um, as a whole class, as well as individual by individual. Then you can clearly see how the lesson went and what to address in your next class if the results weren't what you hoped. Now, what about for students to practice what they have learned? We can create a custom interactive chatbot for students. This is a wonderful way to give the students their independence in their learning when they're learning at their own pace. They can ask the chatbot questions and get instant feedback make it ideal for differentiated learning. That way, all your students are working at their very own pace. With these custom chatbots, you're creating a safe space for the students to interact within AI, within those parameters of the knowledge that you have set. Plus, you can review all of your students' conversations, so that way you can see any trends or address questions that all of your students had in class the next day. So in Ed Cafe, let's go ahead and check out the chatbot. So in Create New, scroll down if you don't see it, but we have our custom chatbot at the bottom. And here we'll be able to see the prompts that we can put in to create our chatbot. And we can also check out some ideas. There's lots of different ways to use these chatbots. So you could use it as a quiz. So the chatbot can quiz the students, ask it questions. Students can reply back and they can help work through that. You could also use it as a tutor. So that way the chatbots can help students work through different problems and different things like that. Or it could be used for role-playing scenarios, things like that. And the teacher side, you guys can also use it to help with some IEP creations and things like that. For our side, we're gonna use the chatbot for a virtual field trip, essentially. So the students can ask it questions. Instead of going somewhere, it can kind of be a chat in that sense. So first things first is we can give it a name, then can give it a quick description. And lastly, add in those instructions. So for these instructions, we have it. You are a tool guide. You're visiting different landmarks like the Great Wall of China. Um, and then you, the chatbot can also answer any questions that the students might have and can suggest different activities for them to work on. From there, then the chatbot can quiz the students based on the different landmarks and where they're located and things like that. And lastly, the last step is to drop any knowledge. So if you want your chatbot to refer to any specific knowledge, you can put this in there. That way the AI isn't using different knowledge from the language learning model, it's just using that document that you put in. So we could actually go back to our teaching resources and add in a knowledge that we found previously, or you guys can upload something from your device. Um, so you can click to browse what you find or what you have on your device. On our side, let's go ahead and open up just another page here so we don't lose all that work that we just had and create a new teaching resource. So from here, we can do a topic that's based on the what we're working on. And for this one, I'm only looking really for a worksheet. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck those options and generate some teaching resources just to get a PDF. Excellent. Let's check out this PDF. It looks good. So we're just gonna go ahead and download this one, save it onto our device, put it in my downloads here. And then back on that original page, we can browse and drop that file that we just saved inside. 
Once it's uploaded, you guys can create your chatbot, save it to the correct folder, and then you'll be able to test it out and share it with your students. So before sharing it with your students, you're more than welcome to test it out. That way, if you need to change up any of the instructions, you can do so. Otherwise, to share it with your students, the same thing, click that assign button. They can scan the QR code or you can copy that link. And let's go ahead and open it up here. Type in a quick name. And it will greet your student, give a quick prep. And let's go ahead and type in a response here for it and begin a little bit of a conversation. So once I've chosen a historical landmark to go visit, the chatbot will give me a few facts, can do some different activities. So maybe the teacher has assigned me as the student to do an activity that it has suggested. And the next day I'll bring it into class and say, you know, my chatbot asked me to do this. So I'm gonna present it um, to the class that way and then have a quick little quiz here. So we can continue chatting. and it can continue to help me learn a little bit more about my landmark. So you can also use this for a research project because if we go back into our teacher side here, we can actually check out our chat sessions. So you could use this and have your students do some research and then you can go ahead and check their work and ensure you know this is where they got all of their information um, and different things like that. So with these chatbots, it just kind of adds the little bit of introduction to AI to students in a safe and controlled space. Um, so that way you as the teacher can also go back and check all of their interactions. And that is how AdCafe helps you create differentiated, customizable, and interactive content to meet your students' unique needs quickly and easily. If you found this helpful, try AdCafe for free and see the difference it can make in your teaching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tips and tools to enhance your classroom. Thanks for watching.